Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. We are on the final step of this quilt and then there will just be a little outro at the very end. This step we are going to be finishing up. Can't believe it! But what we are going to do, I'm going to talk you through it first. I'm quite chipper. I have no reason to be. <laughs> what we're going to be doing is we are going to sew around the entire quilt on the outer edge just like we did when we put the, the rows together, you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? We're just going to go all the way around, all the way around, and that's it. Then we're going to do a lot of snipping. So I'm going to put the camera down and maybe play some music while you watch me sew in fast speed. I did want to mention, it doesn't matter if you start right at the top or not. You could start like at the corner of where the batting is because this is all going to be snipped all around anyway. So I'm just going to start like about an inch in where I can feel the batting starting. You can um, sew as close to the batting as you'd like. Here we go. Lights, please. And when you get to the corner, you can just stop like where the batting is and turn. All right, I have gone all the way around. And the only last step is, and it's a long one, we need to cut all around this entire quilt. And this is why I said that I like to snip as I go, because I can't imagine snipping all this fabric all at once. So I'm just going to um, take care of my edge. Oh, you know what? It snips easier because we're only dealing with two pieces of fabric as opposed to four pieces when we snip here. That might not be so bad after all. Just wanted to show you that when I get to the part that is folded over, I just snip right through all the layers. I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can see that. I'll show you when I get to the next one. Okay, you can see where I'm at the point where the fabric is folded over. And uh, I'm just going to cut through all those layers. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. That's how I do it when I did the um, all the panels, too. You just snip whatever looks like it needs to be snipped. That really did not take a long time. I'm already to the corner. I was on the short edge, but that's okay. I don't know the rules, but I cut like a diagonal line in the corner. You make up your own rules. Because remember, I've never done this before. <laughs> At least not on a big quilt like this. I did a very tiny one. I would not want to make a career out of this. Oh, you probably can't even see what I'm doing. And you probably don't care. Wow, I'm on fast speed without even speeding up the camera. We're on the last leg. If I have a sore arm tomorrow, I hope somebody reminds me why. Yay! We're done, except for washing it. And the washing is to make the fringe get all fluffy. So what you should have at this point is all the pieces put together, and then you sewed around the edge and did all your snipping. That snipping wasn't that bad at all, all the way around it. 
quite enjoyed it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put this in the washer. I'm so excited. I hope it doesn't fall apart because that would not be good for this tutorial. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared because if this doesn't turn out good, then all this footage that I've recorded is for nothing. So <laughs> it's going to be great. And yours will be too. You do not have to worry about perfection. This is far from perfect. In fact, I found a lot of places where the fabric wanted to wrinkle up in the corners. And even though I say that doesn't matter, and it doesn't, because it's not really going to show, but I will not be putting this on eBay, I don't think. I will be finding a new home for it. I don't know if my mother might want it. My mother doesn't need it. Let's put it that way. We have thousands of Afghans in this house. One way or another, we'll figure out what to do with this baby. I'm going to have just one more video after this one. It's not a step. It's just going to be the outro, and we're going to see the finished product. Actually, I'm quite sure you saw it in the intro. I haven't seen it yet because the intro is done last. Isn't that weird? Okay, I'm confused. Thank you so much for watching. There is a plate. I've just noticed that I have like leaking things and I'm, don't tell me my deck door is leaking. Oh, the joys of owning a house that's over 100 years old. What was I going to say? I don't even remember. Where was I? What am I doing here? What the heck was I saying? Oh, there is a playlist link down below. And All right, that is it. I will see you on the next clip. Bye. I forgot to mention, I'm going to go outside and give this a good shake to get rid of as many threads as possible. I know some people say to put it in a laundry bag. I'm going to do it without a laundry bag because it can get a lot of threads, loose threads. But I still have a machine that has a lint trap thingy. So I don't know. I'll let you know how many threads fall off.